Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at Hubert Pilkick, a human trafficker who turned to murdering, raping and torturing the people he was trafficking out of the Iron Curtain. Pilkick was born on the 14th of October 1891 in Novoy Hirosenkov in Vestin district in the modern day Czech Republic when it was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He commenced employment at a Skoda factory in Pilsen in the Czech Republic, 90 kilometers from Prague where he remained until his retirement. He eventually married a woman named Antonie who was 11 years his junior. He developed a love for nature as a horticulturalist but was also an extreme liar. Claiming to be a sailor on the Titanic, he also had a good reputation with his neighbours and acquaintances. Following the Soviet liberation of Czechoslovakia in 1945, President Edvard Berns, who was the leader of the Czech National Social Party, announced his unconditional support for Joseph Stalin's Soviet foreign policy and the Benes decrees, but he was not a Soviet puppet. Several domestic reforms were forcibly implemented by other Eastern European countries, but not implemented in Czechoslovakia. In the 1946 elections, the only free elections held in the history of a Soviet bloc, the Communist Party reigned victorious with 114 of 400 seats won. However, the Soviet Union was disappointed with the Czechoslovakian government's failure to eliminate what was seen as bourgeoisie influence in the army, expropriate industrialists, and facilitate large landowners, as well as eliminate parties outside of the National Front. On the 25th of February 1948, following a four-day coup d'etat, fearful of civil war and Soviet intervention, Beavis capitulated. The country became a Soviet puppet, with the communists seizing power. The Foreign Minister, Jan Masaryk, the only prominent minister who wasn't a communist was found dead on the 10th of March 1948. Clement Gottwald became acting president on the 7th of June 1948 of the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia before being formally appointed on the 14th of June 1948. Amidst the uncertainty, up to 250,000 Czechs and Slovakians emigrated from their native Czechoslovakia to Western Germany as well as Austria. Pilkik saw this as an opportunity to make both money as well as carry out his depraved fantasies. On the 6th of March 1951, a fire broke out at an abandoned forest factory called Lipovka in the small village of Nekmir in modern-day Slovakia. Human remains were found on the 7th of March 1951, however the body, which was male, was not linked to the factory fire. The corpse had some personal belongings next to it. An autopsy determined that the individual had been killed with a blow to the head and the victim had been set on fire with flammable liquid while still alive. However, the identification of the victim could not be discovered. The individual had been killed through a blow to the head and then set on fire while still alive. Ten kilometers away from the factory on the 20th of July 1951, children were playing in the sand on a beach near Senek, which is in modern-day Slovakia. The children found a human leg and found a shallow grave containing decaying remains of a woman who appeared to be in her 30s and had a rope around her neck, was gagged and was half naked. Through dental work, the woman was identified as Renata Baliova, a photographer from Pilsen, which is now in the west of the Czech Republic. Investigators then went to interview Renata's sister, who initially refused to talk to them because of her father, sister and niece's illegal immigration from Czechoslovakia. Later, when police revealed that her sister's corpse had been found, she revealed that Renata Baliova her father, Emmanuel, and her niece, who was 12 years old, Daniele Baliova, 
were planning on immigrating illegally to West Germany earlier that year, and she had received a letter from Bavaria confirming that they had emigrated. However, the letter was not stamped or postmarked. It was found that the body in the factory was that of Emanuel Baliova. Renata's sister refused to emigrate as she was worried about walking through the forest at night and the weather was not good. Investigators were led by Baliova's sister to Pilkik, who had provided her with his address. Two members of the SNB, the National Police in Czechoslovakia, entered Pilkik's home as electricians and arrested him on the 6th of September 1951. In his apartment, he had a small arsenal of weapons, including an English submachine gun, a Sten gun, an Austrian Rolf Steyr brand, an 8mm caliber, a Czechoslovakian CV 7.65mm pistol, an English revolver, and a German paratrooper knife. Numerous items in suitcases were found, as well as, most significantly, Daniele Baliova. Pilkik had kept Daniele Baliova in a hidden compartment in his apartment for two months where she was built to a structure with a double walled box over her head to muffle her screams. She had been kept there for most of the day and was only let out briefly. She was regularly raped by Pilkik and was subjected to frequent torture having been found in a terrible physical and psychological condition. He had forced her to write letters from Bavaria and delivered these to Pilkik's sister in exchange for jewellery. Pilkik confessed to killing Emmanuel in his sleep in the abandoned factory cottage while waiting to be smuggled into Bavaria. Renata Baliova was killed two weeks later near Senek in modern day Slovakia. Pilkik also admitted that he had planned to kill Baliova's daughter as well as another relative of the Baliova's. The SNB charged Pilkik with five more murders, with investigators establishing that at least two more individuals had been victims of Pilkik. Given the amount of jewellery found in Pilkik's house, it is believed that he killed as many as ten people. However, the exact number of victims he murdered will never be known. Investigators were hampered by the fact that relatives were unwilling to cooperate due to the illegal emigration of their loved ones from Czechoslovakia. Additionally, the SNB did little to investigate if there were any further victims of Pilkik and his wife refused to cooperate in the investigation. Pilkik was charged with the murder of five people, aiding illegal crossing of the Czechoslovakian border, illegal possession of weapons, rape, illegal imprisonment, ill treatment, child molestation, fraud and theft. Pilkik committed suicide by hanging using two handkerchiefs on the 9th of September 1951 in prison in Pilsen. With his relatives refusing to collect his remains and donating them to science, his head remains at the Institute of Forensic Medicine in Pilsen. The instrument used to torture Daniele Pilkik can still be seen at the police museum in Prague. The story of Pilkik was used as the basis of the sixth episode, entitled The Beast, of the Czechoslovakian television series 30 Cases of Major Zeman, which was filmed in 1975. 30 Cases of Major Zeman was an action drama propaganda television show in Czechoslovakia, broadcast on Czechoslovak television between 1975 and 1980. Additionally, the 2010 movie Beauty and the Monster 1950 is based on Pilkick's crimes. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.